This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von Over back here with a new game, and this time it's Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Le Legacy, created in 2001 by Naughty Dog Games, uh, published by Sony. And uh, unfortunately, we're not playing the original one. I don't have that copy anymore. Unfortunately, I lost that. I think I sold that off years ago when I got the collector's edition or collection edition because I thought, oh, let's just have them all together. I kind of miss having the original disc for this type of stuff, but the collection will work just as well. I haven't heard any issues with the collection as far as I'm aware. There might be some minor issues with compression or whatever, but I haven't heard of any major details. Same with like Sly and the Ratchet collection, although Sly did have some minor issues with like button combinations like a couple of the games, but that, that was minor. Same with Ratchet and Clank, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Uh, but anyway, Jack and Daxter, one of the first uh, first games to come out to kind of bring in the renaissance of platforming into the 2000s and onward, at least for a while. It's kind of gone, come and gone, but now it's more mainly more of an indie thing. But back in this day, this is when the... I don't know if this is one of the first games Naughty Dog worked on. I think they worked on some games previously, but this is one of the games that put them on the map. And obviously, the Naughty Dog of today is different from the Naughty Dog of of back then so we got to separate that for those who even care about that type of thing so let's just look at the current situation and play the game that's here so let's start up the game shall we i did uh, start a file already just to kind of make sure the recording was working and everything with that so i have a bit of an idea of what i was going to do but the rest of it after a certain point we're going to be good as gravy i'm trying to decide if i want to flip the controls because i i was testing earlier and i was having some issue with the uh the horizontal like every time I, I i kept expecting it to work the other way so i think i'm gonna for now i think i'm gonna flip it and see if that works and then we'll kind of and then i'll just change it back if i really need to then that should work yeah the volume sound right because i do want to hear them for the most part so me yeah, i've already got a save file here but i'm going to save over that or well i guess i could just save in a different file i don't have to save over it Frankly, but I, I only played like a few minutes into the game. Oh, did I load the game? Whoops. Well, let's uh go back to the main menu. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, let's actually start from the beginning. I I think I pressed the right the wrong button or something like that to to load it out or whatever. So sorry about that. <laughs> oh, a good start to the playthrough, and I'm already messing up some of the controls. Now, unfortunately, I can't uh, skip out a little thing, but. Uh, yeah, you'll pre you'll start liking. Uh, I think for those who haven't played this or watched this before, I think you'll start like kind of like the art design and the the playful nature of the characters. Although the character that looks like the little animal there might get a little annoying at times, but I think you'll endear to him after a certain bit. So, all right, let's just choose. Uh, yeah, we'll just choose the next file there, and uh, all those just ignore all those numbers until the game tells us about it. So, anyway, let's get begin the journey of Dak and Daxter and how they end up in this uh, situation and how their journey will go. Start saving the data. I want to play, dang it. Go! Hurry! I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins 
with but a small act of disobedience. Hey! Uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! I'm fine. I'm fine. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three Sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it, if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns!
Well then, apparently, uh, apparently our friends fall into some dark eco. And before we go on our journey, because obviously we're going on a journey, we're going to need to do some training in the typical tutorial level. Oh God! Now nah, we'll need it. So, uh, well, we'll find out as we play. But this is one of those classic platformer slash action games where you can run around and. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Thank you for that. I appreciate it, Kira. I love to hear your voice. It sounds like a 50-year-old lady who did the voice of Kira. I Actually, I don't know. I mean, it seems like her vo she's older. I mean, she's obviously supposed to be like... These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. And if we collect all the orbs, we get a, a secret at the end of the game. So yeah, make sure to collect all of them. Most of the level will tell you if you've collected all of them, or if you go back through an area, it'll tell you if you've missed something. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. Okay, so we're going to need that. And uh, yeah, th these are dummies to test out your combat abilities. As we can smack him. So yeah, uh, so Jackster, Daxter, or Jack, da Jack, kind of like uh, when we played as him in the... Um, PlayStation All-Stars game a long time ago. He has a punch, although in the All-Stars he plays a different version of himself. Which, uh, but yeah, you can punch, jump, um, you can jump and thank. The game's gonna tell us how to do that. We can spin, which allows us to get a little extra. Yeah, and uh, Daxter's like always wrapped around him, as you can see. Man, just uh, some smooth animation here. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh yeah, if you press uh, start, you can go into the menu. Tells how many court, uh, uh, many power cells, precursor orbs, and those bug light things, which the game will tell us about that eventually. So, uh, whoops, I'm back up. No, back. Go back, I say. Yeah, and it tells you, yeah, it tells you like how many orbs you can get in a level. Um, yeah, by pressing X, square tells us the how many are in an area, which this one says four. And this tells us these. Okay, so anyway, back up. And then you can also, I think, yeah, if you press R L2, it tells you like what your health gauge is, if you hold it down and any of the other things. Um, I don't think R2 does anything. It might do the same thing. Um, L1 and R1 let you uh, kind of flip, and you can uh, do like a running jump or whatever, or a uh, rolling jump or whatever. Um, if you hold down the button, you can uh, um, sneak around. Although I've almost never had any really reason to use the sneak around function. Um, I'm trying to remember if there was a... Yeah, every time you grab one of those, they do like a little dance and it saves the... Um, yeah, it says don't don't turn off the system while it does that, otherwise it'll screw up the uh, um, saving icon. Alright, and then here in a second it's going to tell us how to actually open these boxes. Oops, yeah, there Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Sage. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. Why would they put them in boxes? Anyway, scout flies, that's what they're called. I don't know why I forgot what they were called there for a second. But yeah, I think I think the only things we have to collect a hundred of are the precursor herbs. I don't think we have to collect everything else. Well, actually, maybe we might have to do the flies too. Oh, anyway, it's been a while since I played this game. The last time I think I played this game was uh, oh yeah, and we, that's right, we do have to collect them because we get the power cell we collected. I think Jack and Daxter have like five different dances. power cells. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, there's a... Uh, yeah, different colors of Eco. We were around the dark, now we've run into Blue Eco, so... Um, oh, yeah, I don't want to collect these yet because I need to show you off the power of the Blue Eco. Supercharge! Yeah, it's almost like we get the power of like electricity or something like that on our side. Um, yeah, almost don't forget to go down here. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. 
I don't think there's any more uh, things to collect down here. The game's pretty straightforward in a lot of cases when it comes to like where things are. There's only you know, like I think there's if I recall there's only like a few rare instances where you have to like do some weird platforming. I don't think it was till the later games where the game finally started um, doing some weird sneaky stuff when it came to like the uh, uh, hiding the. Uh, the orbs and everything like that. Because, yeah, you still... Well, you still collect stuff in the later games, but it changes, like, what it is. Alright. Yeah, we're going to take advantage of that for speedy, speedy transfer. I don't think we have to destroy all these, but I'm doing this out of a weird habit. I'm... This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. Hmm. But yeah, urge, urge to urge to destroy Rising every time in any game with this. But yeah, we need Blue Geeko, which, uh, how are we going to get that? Well, let's run over here. That's a Blue Eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Well, thank you for telling me that, Kira. I wanted to figure that out regularly on my own time. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, tutorials got to do that, otherwise, you know, just to get you ready to go. Oh, another orb. Or, I mean, the power, power cell. Thanks for that dance. Good and work. The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have laid dormant for years. Oh, and uh, li unlike a lot of other heroes from this time, he can swim! Holy cow! Who knew it was possible? Yeah, most games of this era, it wasn't until a while, because most games didn't want to uh, didn't want code in swimming um, um, controls and all that other stuff, so they would just have the characters not swim, kind of like Sly Cooper. I don't think Ratchet could swim, if I recall. Well, he could in later games, I think. But, uh... Oh, and here's one of the few times where you have to do some tricks to get the other orbs. Yeah, that's when you want to spin. Um, yeah, this is like... Uh, Jack was like one of the first characters to be able to swim in a game that wasn't... Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. Shouldn't you have told me that earlier when I first ran across those? Yeah, whatever. Is that it for the... Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna run out of health anytime soon, but... You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Yeah, it's telling us about double jump. Which, you know, would've, you would've figured it out just by playing the game. Oh, I think I missed one. Hold on. Yeah, I'm missing one, because, uh... I should have, uh, I should have gotten it. Wait, where did I miss it then? Hold on, now I need to go back. Oh, there it is. I just didn't jump high enough. I was about to say, there's 50 in this place. How did I miss that? There we go. Yeah, the game will tell you if you miss it, but I think when you leave, and then you, you can go back to... Jump again in the oh, you're just repeating that. I think the game will uh, the game allows you to go back to old areas if you miss something. And actually, I think it tells you like what you missed, like the total. It doesn't tell you where it is, just that you missed it. So, all right, that's the last uh, four for this map. But uh, it's kind of weird how as soon as Daxter like turned into like the whatever this form is, he became a bit more I don't know goofy or confident because he didn't seem to act like that before that happened. So I don't know what turning into this creature does. And yes, I know what creature he is, but we're just going to pretend we don't know until the game tells us, so. Explodes. Anyway, done with the training level, back to base. To the Green Sage's hut. We go! Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, uh, no problem! We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? 
Follow the maps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Jeez, you gotta calm down, dude. Alright, we will. Alright, time to start our journey as we're collecting cores for uh, Kira there, so the lovely Kira. Is it just me or was this game designed for more, not for kids, but for an older audience? I don't know, I just, I just have a feeling, just something in the air, like the character design or something like that of certain characters, tends to just kind of come up regularly. I'm like, I wonder why. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, if you haven't already guessed there, um, the character designs are definitely a bit more, uh, well, as well as fancy. Not that I, I'm perfectly fine with them. It's just fun to point them out, you know, like kind of like different from d today's character design, if you know what I mean. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one. I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Well, thanks, Kira. So now we got another another set to go. So, ah, uh, the lovely Kira. Yeah, this is a weird world too because it's kind of a weird combination between like tech with like fantasy, but with weird bits of technology, you know. But uh, I like it, and I like the character designs for this game as well. And if you've already noticed, Jack, uh, da Jack does not talk at all. He's mute in this game. Well, in this game, quote unquote. He does make noises. You can hear him like laugh every once in a while. I wonder how much they paid the voice actor for that. He's just like, oh, uh, what you gonna do? What, what, how, what, how many voices? How many lines am I gonna voice in this game? Like five. <laughs> what do I do? Laugh, and that's it. All right. Anyway, um, I think the village does have like um, your um, orbs and everything with that as well. If, uh, let me. Yeah, and the village itself is fifty, but I think we get most of those from the. Well, I think we get some of those from the villagers, if I recall. Oh, yeah, but the, by the way, the game tells you how many total. So we had to collect 2,000 uh, um, 2, orbs over the course of the game. And power things, I don't recall. I don't think you have to collect as many of those, if I, if I remember correctly. But, yeah, the orbs are the big thing. Man, 2,000. And it tells you, like, how many areas you can get to, how many you need. Uh, really, that seems like a lot, but really it kind of... Uh, you kind of get it's it like because of how how, how like in red boxes. yes thank you Daxter we didn't figure that out already but yeah like a lot of these a lot of orbs will be kind of bundled together so it kind of doesn't really oh my god the camera sometimes the camera oh that was weird sorry about that folks I had a weird uh, uh weird something going on there <laughs> my uh I don't know if you want to care about the behind the scenes, but my TV turned off all of a sudden. I think I had a power power surge, but luckily, I uh, all my equipment is uh, is saved and is are all plugged into power switches, so and power supplies just in case that occurs. So what do you mean? So, you mean? Me? <laughs> oh, I'd sooner wrestle an enraged flop flop. Oh yeah, you can tell that there's if you hear like the flying and buzzing of something, you can tell one of those uh, creatures are around. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boy. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing, 
If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. So we need 90 precursor orbs for that, and then we have to do this job for him to get another one. Apparently these precursor herbs are just like candy. They're just all over the place. Who knew? Well, it's see, they're just out in the open. Why didn't that guy just grab those for his adventure? Or for his uh, campaign? Because we have to do it. Yeah, I know. But anyway. Let's uh, talk to some other villagers. Hello, uh... Um, hello, old man. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Thanks for giving us what is required for the for the story to. I like the I do like the character designs. I like how they're kind of like cartoony. I do prefer cartoony designs to realistic designs, and that's going to be important for later on. Not in this game, just the franchise in general. But uh, well, it'll be a while till we get to that. So, uh, anyway, yeah, let's just uh keep running around and uh, collecting stuff, shall we? I don't think it's a... Uh, we do have to collect quite a bit of stuff, but I never found it... I found it as obnoxious as, like, um... Uh, like, um, Banjo-Kazooie or anything like that. As you can tell, I was never the biggest fan of Banjo-Kazooie, and I'm not trying to knock it, I'm just saying it wasn't really my game. Yeah, people will swear by it, you know? But hey, I'm not here to knock what you like. Hello. It looks like you're a man who's, uh... can't quite figure out what to put carving that stone. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? Uh, well, I, I, you said it. We have to, so... We need to get his views back, huh? All right. She ever come Whoever back she me? is. Well, she did say he was like a squirrel or something like that. So, okay. So, we can go that way. Or we can go this way. And we need to get to the boat if we want to go to Misty Owl. But, uh, let's, uh, um, yeah, let's just keep exploring and get as far as we can. Okay, who are we talking to here? Hmm. Looks like you're a fan of birds. Oh, my. What a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were spotted orange-bellied rain -free. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. Thanks for that. Man, power cells must be like the uh, $50 of the game or something. No. <laughs> All right, so we got to save a... Got to get an egg as well. Um, yeah, we could go to Misty Isle. We'll, I mean, we'll have to go to all these places first. I'm just trying to decide how I want to I want to do this. In the end, it doesn't quite matter. Can I get up here yet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> What a weird oh yeah, I need some. Uh... I bet we can get this open if you power up with that zappy blue Rico stuff. Oh boy! Fight, 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 fight. 
Yeah, there's quite a few of these. See how like easy it is to get like 10 or something of those? So yeah, don't worry about like the 2,000 number. It's just over the course of the game. But yeah, it does. at first it does seem pretty da daunting. Can I punch you? <laughs> Hopefully they don't go attack us. I don't need them attacking me, so... Oh, hello? Uh, looks like a hermit of some sort, or... Or a hay maker. I don't know. Gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those Henri yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get them back into the corral? Alright, gotta get your dudes back in the corral. So punching them or pushing them seems to be a pretty viable option, apparently, in the first place. So, alright, well, well. I don't know where this where this pin is. Oh, it's just over there. Gotcha. All right, we'll do that here in a second. Let me grab some much needed orbage right over here. Heck yeah. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be doing a lot of platforming on our way here. So that takes us into Fire Canyon. I don't want to go there yet. Let's see if we can help this guy with his uh, cow problem. Those don't look like cow. They look more like steers, but. Uh, Actually, I think we just have to, like, um, move around them, yeah, and just shove them in there. Come on, get in there. There you go. Come on. Get in there, you. Actually, is there anything in there? Nope, okay. Alright, I think we'll, uh, I think before we call it, I think we'll have to get these guys in. Oh, this kind of reminds me of rice. I think the design is more similar to rice patties, you know, in a, or rice in general. Not uh, forbidden in general. It's forbidden, yet everyone's been in there. Yeah, it looks like we've got quite a few uh, cows to be putting up there. Alright, move forward, dude. Don't act all drunk. Get going. I wonder if we can get a couple of them at once. No, I think this is, I think this is one of those games where you can only affect uh, one at a time. Yeah, not really much to it. Just gotta move him into the corral there so but yeah yeah too bad you can't do multiple ones at once but but they made the ai pretty much go almost straight towards it so you don't have to like try too hard to to keep getting them in there unlike some games where you have escort question you have to like move every single little nitpicking pixel to get to get where you want to all right in you go Silly cow. Oh, there's just the like two more. Okay. Alright, dude. Go on. I guess you have to like do some weird maneuvering to get him to move. Because punching him in the face doesn't uh, make him move as fast. It's kind of like real cows. Actually, I've never dealt with cows in real life other than uh, seeing them from afar, like from a. like a. Um, car trip or something like that, so I don't know how temperamental or, or, I've heard they're dumb animals, but that's, uh, I mean, heck, they let you basically almost do anything to them for the most part. Of course, that might be the way they've been bred to act, I'm not sure. In you go. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. All right, let's get that. Yes, thank you. We, uh, we were going to do that anyway. You think we were just going to forget? Ah, oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Well, thanks for the power cell, and we'll never have to talk to you ever again. Yeehaw. I did get another achievement earlier from collecting, I think, some of uh, the first power cell, but I had to, but that was when I was doing a test run of it, so I couldn't show off that. So, but anyway, our journey has just begun for Jack and Daxter. If they want to figure out how to turn Daxter back to normal, they're going to need those power cells and a lot of precourse herbs. Can they do it? We'll find out next time as we continue uh, getting those 20 power cells in the next episode of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.